Hey BC Nation, what is going on? It is Brett Chicken here, bringing you guys a story time, and as you can tell by the title, it is a different type of story time. It is one that is kind of religious, I guess. Mormon Jesus is a religious statement, I assume, so this video is going to be kind of on a story time that revolves around religion, especially the Mormon religion. So, without further ado, I'm just going to start it up, even though I could talk about the gameplay and stuff like that. Because I need a lot of time to talk about it because this is probably the 6th or 7th time recording this. Because I've gone over the time limit for like every single uh, take I've done. So let me just jump right into it. I'm going to start it off right now. So a couple of days ago I was kind of down. I was depressed. I was sad. I was mad. I was a whole bunch of different things. Because a lot of people in my life recently have been sort of trying to take control of my life and not let me live it. So they would give me, they would basically say, oh, you aren't making the right choices, this is what you need to do. And getting those different opinions from everyone telling you that you need to do this and you need to do that is very upsetting, especially when no one asks for your opinion. So I know I'm uh, 18, I'm not really experienced in the world or anything like that compared to others. But I do think that I need to grow as a person. I need to grow from my choices, not anyone else's. Now, one thing that upset me is that everyone, every single person that uh, gave me their opinion on what I should be doing, never asked for mine. And it, it, just, it was just really upsetting. And I was in a bad mood. And I actually, I sort of like popped. I cracked that day. I, I got super mad. I broke down. I didn't really break down like, started crying or anything I just I just got really mad with people and I sort of told them how mad I was now with that being said the day went forth and I ended up home alone and the Mormon missionaries came up to my door and knocked on the door now before I get into the actual like story bit and what I want to talk about I want to let you know that I am not religious in any way shape or form I am not atheist in any way shape or form I guess I don't consider myself anything. I'm just Quinn. I'm just some guy. I am not, you know, bound to this religion. I'm not bound to this belief because my beliefs are ever changing with the experiences that I experience. And yeah, and just the way I've been brought up, I I haven't had religion in my life ever. We've gone to church maybe 3 times in ever in my entire life. And all 3 times were basically for like fundraiser stuff, like fun stuff not involving religion at all so I, I know nothing about any religion I don't really practice any religion I don't know any religion I've never read a holy uh, scripture I've never read the Book of Mormon I've re never read a Bible I've never read a Quran I am sort of a religion virgin so to speak and you know I'm perfectly fine like that I, I think that you don't need a religion to live. I think religion isn't, I don't want to say it's pointless because I know a lot of people uh, find a lot of good uses for it. Like if you're going through a tough time, you want to have a religion to sort of back up your, you sort of have like an emotional backup as well as a spiritual backup. And I can completely understand that. But for me, that's that doesn't work. I, I've grown up without it and I'm perfectly functional without it. Anyways. Because I was in such a bad mood, I sort of wanted to turn my frown upside down, so I wanted to be nice to the Mormon missionaries after they knocked on my door. So I basically let them do their spiel. I actually invited them into my house, and I had them sit down and sort of tell me what they wanted to tell me because I, I was sort of I sort of felt their pain, I guess, for a little bit because I know they were walking around all day getting doors shut in their face, and I said, you know what? I'm going to give them a little love, and I'm going to let them go into my house, I'm going to let them give me their spiel, and they can sort of feel like they accomplished something for the day, because uh, I wasn't, you know, in the best of moods. Anyways, that happened, they came into my house, they gave me their spiel, they talked about Joseph Smith, or is it Joseph Smith, or John Smith, I, I don't remember, I'm really sorry if I'm offending anyone, but I believe it's John Smith or Joseph Smith, and uh, they talked to me about how Jesus came to South America, and all this other stuff. And then at the end of their sort of spiel, they gave me the option to take the Book of Mormon and read it. Now, I'm not the guy, like I just described to you, I'm not the guy to ever do that, ever. But uh, because they got me in this weird situation where I felt like doing nice things and felt like being really respectful and all that stuff, 
I I now have a Book of Mormon in my hands. And um, I've actually taken them up on their offer. I'm actually chapter 11 of Nephi, the Book of Nephi, which is the first book of the Book of Mormon. We have Nephi, uh, Alma, and... Wait, no, actually, I'm, I'm wrong. It's Nephi, and then there's two other books. Anyways, I'm on chapter 11 in Book of Nephi, and I'm actually going to read the entire Book of Mormon. Now, I guarantee this is not going to put any religion on me. Like, I'm not going to feel like I am now a Mormon because I've read this book. I'm not going to feel any different than when I started reading. But I do think it is a great experience for me as a person to grow, and... Uh, I think it is a good thing to do to read a religious text and read it all the way through so you can get the the morals and some of these stories that other people have been telling for generations whether you believe them or not I think it is a good idea to pick up one of these books and read it so I'm gonna read the Book of Mormon all the way through might give you guys some of my ideas on it and stuff like that at this point I am I'm not really for it because uh, in the first couple of chapters Nephi, who is supposed to be one of the chosen few to preach about God, has already beheaded someone with his own sword. Now, to me, that isn't really godly at all. And apparently God told Nephi to kill this man, and he just took out the guy's sword while he was drunk and cut his head off. Now, I don't agree with that at all. But, anyways, guys, this, is, this video is wrapping up, and uh, I didn't really get... To say everything that I wanted to say, but uh, I want to let you guys know that I do have a Book of Mormon. I'm reading it, and I think everyone should read a book like this, and I'll talk to you guys later.